Yes, click. Oh, it's focusing Ooh. on my hand. Ah, ah, we're blue. We're keeping this one as well because we're blue. I oh, can't yeah. see. <laughs> can you go? Oh no, I can do this. Ha, 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 ha. Game over. Press any button to continue. And one, one and two, and, two, and one, one, two, three, four. Welcome, Welcome to, to Any, any Button, button podcast. podcast. I almost called Double Down. Yeah, actually, me too. It's because we did the one in the two da dance. Yeah. Um, that Damn it, Mono, you've indoctrinated us. <laughs> it just makes me miss him even more. <laughs> Okay, oh. welcome to Any Button Podcast. The Any Podcast, brought to you by the co-founders of Double Dash Jump. <clears throat> I'm Ben, this should be Matt. Uh, this is episode 11, and I don't know where I was going with this anymore. Uh, I'm bad at introductions, which is probably why I failed. God, I can't flub. Um, can't flub. <laughs> can't, can't not flub, uh, which is probably why I failed to You do English. good English. I do good English. Me fail English? That's impossible. Well, it's a probably good thing, because then I went and did the uni ready course, and I met you. And then we became friends. And we have this highly successful, so we're, failure we're, leads to success. Right. Earning so much money from this. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, it's... Uh, I almost called it Doom's Fist. Doom Fist. It's not. It's Doomsday. It's Doomsday. Why is it Doomsday? If you don't know, pause this, go watch last week's episode, then come back and continue watching. And you will understand. I still don't understand. Uh, no, I still don't understand. That's okay. You Afterwards, you'll go back and watch the last episode and you'll hear Mono screaming at the through the monitor. Oh, right. Because we forgot the name of Doomsday. Hey, you fucking... You forgot Doomsday. It's Doomsday. Fucking... Doomsday. Dooms, this guy, this guy. Uh, yeah. Yep. Um, now for everyone's favourite uh, segment. <laughs> this week in games we've been playing, I've been playing Danganronpa uh, 1.2 Reload, which is the PS4 port for Danganronpa Trigger, ha Trigger Happy Havoc and Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, which are ports from the PS Vita, which I've platinum both those games, but... I love those games, so I've gone back and started playing them again. And you just want a more platinum trophy. It's only one platinum for the two games this time. It's not oh, two platinum. What a jip. Oh, no. Don't you hate that? Yep. Don't you hate platinums that you can't just easily do? I like the game. It's so uh, much fun. Great story. I have been playing the original Fallout. Because mm. I've never played it before. And I'm a big fan of Fallout 3 and New Vegas. 4 didn't... didn't Get, have the things that I liked about 3 in New Vegas. Mm. I still enjoyed it. Well, it was a completely different developer back then. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I will, and Did one, you get it in the big atomic bomb thing? Yeah. yeah. I I want to run and get it, but we don't have the time. But it was yes. in the background of our old videos, right? It was. It yeah. was in the background of at least one of them. At least one of them, yeah. Um, so we're still in a drought of pre-E3 news where much of what is still coming out is leaks and rumours and theories and people trying to get Reddit gold. Um, so we don't like covering those sort of things because if they come out false and we've been advertising fake news and we're just part of the problem. Yeah, we don't do fake news. No. Everything here is 100% legit. Um... But we'll do our best to make sure that everything we cover is 100% factual to the best of our knowledge at the time while still providing uh, our thoughts and opinions uh, and insights and, of course, our classic humour. Oh, yeah, the flawless classic humour. Flawless. Um, so the first thing we're going to cover is pretty much the reason we don't cover leaks, which is uh, earlier this week, uh, formerly alleged screenshots of Red Dead Redemption 2 got leaked. I say formally alleged because it was alleged because no one knew and now it's formally alleged because it's been debunked. Um, so so I, I saw this as well. So this is a screenshot of another game. Yes. Which is a PC Wild West. I think it's an MMO. It's a PC MMO called Wild West Online. So it's an MMO WWO. Oh, God. <laughs> 
<laughs> it took me a while to realize that was a joke and not like a fact. You said that with such sincerity. Like, yeah, yeah, it's an yeah. MMO WWE. That's what that's, it is. That's what that's... the anagram will be. Um, <sighs> Whoa. Uh, so everyone was going nuts because a lot of people have been looking forward to Red, Red Dead Redemption 2. First time I actually saw this, I saw it, uh, the anagram RDR2 and I was just like, what the fuck has this got to do with Star Wars? I, I did that as well. You're like, R2D2? Yeah. I was like, took me for, it took me a while. I was like, oh, Red Dead Redemption 2. So, um... So there's no concrete information on the game of the, as yet. The official site still has a countdown timer. So it's like, oh, more information will be revealed in about, I think last time I checked it was about four days. So Tuesday, Wednesday, next week. Yeah. It's, I think it's at the point where even if it was a leak, even if that was a real screenshot, it would be so little and so close to an actual presentation that the whole leak is pointless. Yeah, there's no gameplay, there's no... Nothing about the story, nothing concrete. I don't even know what hell, what else is in the game or what it's even about, other than it's in, set in the Wild West. It's very <clears> red. <throat> there's a lot of dead. And there's some redemption in there. Are we talking about Red Dead Redemption 2 or Wild West Online now? Yes. Both, okay. Um, although quite a few outlets have reported that uh, the studio is has launched or is launching a Kickstarter soon. I couldn't find it to verify it myself. But, uh... Um, Wait, is this MMO WWO? Yes. Or R2-D2? R2-D2 has its... Doesn't need Kickstarter. Doesn't need a Kickstarter. No. I didn't think it would either, so that's why I was like, why do they need one of those? Oh. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, so to reiterate the age-old rule of the internet, don't believe what you see. Um, yeah, these screenshots look nice, though. I mean, it's a PC game, so it can be as good as they need it to. Yeah, that's true. Uh, um, before we go on to our next little subject... I'm actually going to interject live something that I didn't put in the patch notes, and I'll oh, just no. get your reaction. Yo, this is going to ruin the scripting. I'm already terrified. Okay, so the YouTube of Pokemon or Nintendo pulled the Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer, yeah. and they pull the trailers previously when they've been releasing the new game, mm-hmm. right? To avoid confusion. So they've pulled the trailer for Sun and Moon. And we've got this Nintendo Direct coming up. So I'm I'm saying this clearly. We don't have confirmation. But... Following the trends in the past. Following trends in the past. We could be looking at a new Pokemon game coming soon. Maybe. Maybe. But it's, it's more than nothing. It's... Because a lot of people said, uh, this time of year, they usually announce Pokemon. And then they actually realized that they pulled the old trailer and they were... And now there's just sirens in the background, people losing their minds, buildings on fire. Well, of course, Switch fans have... People who own Switches have to get excited about getting an actual game. Well, it could still be on... It could be on the uh, new 2DS XL. Exclusive Maybe. to the new 2DS XL. That said, I would very much prefer a Switch Pokemon. I think if there's a new one, I think a lot of people would be. Um, you wouldn't. <laughs> You'd be like, "Damn, I gotta buy a Switch." No, I'm not buying a Switch. <laughs> Unless Nintendo, you want to send me one. I mean, if listen to me, Reggie, you want to send me one. If I was the, all I could think of was what Reggie Rock, he's not gonna send you anything. Uh, that's a Pokemon joke. Pokemon, I've got it. Yeah. Uh, uh, Alright, let's go back on the rail. For those of you who are Hitman fans, with sad news, Square Enix is dropping the developer IO Interactive and looking for another company to go pick them up. Um, this is kind of a strange move because last year's Hitman, I can't just call it Hitman because there is other titles in the series called Hitman, um, Apparently was really well received amongst fans and critics alike. Not well enough, apparently. Apparently just didn't move the uh, enough units. I think that might be in conjunction to its confusing season episodic gaming model that they were yeah, trying to do. because it was episodic, whereas previous Hitmans have always been... They're like, here, buy the full game now, and you get parts of it later. And, I mean, that's what personally turned me off of that game. I mean, all the other things I was yeah. hearing is like, oh, it's so open, it's so great, you can do this, you can do that. I'm like, that sounds really cool. 
What's the episodic gaming? I don't know what that means. Yeah. See, I'm a really awful person when it comes to episodic gaming. When a new one comes out, like Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm like, oh, it's it's only the first episode. I'm not going to bother with that. And then there's the full, this is the full Walking Dead. And I'm like, oh, that's too much for me. I, just, I can't play all that. Yeah. I'm, it's like two I'm a hours horrible a, person. It's like two hours a piece and there's five episodes or mm. six episodes. There's 12 hours. Ain't, ain't nobody got time for that. Um, and if way Telltale releases it, it's like, oh God, what actually happened in the last episode? I don't remember. That's pretty good. It's like previously on this game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's currently no news on what will happen to Hitman. I have reported that they're meeting with the uh, potential investors to pick up their studio. Whether this means that the Hitman franchise will be carried across with them or if it will remain property of Square Enix is unknown. Uh, much like uh, IO's other IPs, which include Kane and Lynch, Mini Ninjas, and Freedom Fighters, all of which I have never played. No, I didn't even. Not really. <laughs> no. Um, I've I've never seen. I, I've never heard of this before, where someone's gone, like you know what? I don't want this anymore. Can someone else? Can someone else take this? Yeah. It's normally, it's, you know, Disney buying everything. I'll take that, and I'll take that. Mm. Yeah. I've never seen anyone go, no, oh, no. Imagine if Square Enix just did that with, like, Kingdom Hearts. Like, oh, I don't want this anymore. This is too much. We, we Dealing f- with Disney. We messed this up. Here, someone, EA, you get this now. I don't... Oh, <laughs> I'm lo- I looked at it again. <laughs> um, I mean... I'd be really excited if, say, Xbox picked it up. What? And Xbox? Xbox picked up IO Interaction Interactive and just was like, yeah, sure, Hitman's ours now. It's using As in the, the f- Xbox. Xbox, Microsoft. Microsoft. I'm like, Xbox is well, I don't think just a single original it just, Xbox. It's just Phil Spencer just pulling out his wallet. Like, um, you don't even so, own an so, Xbox. No, you- but... You're making this like, I want to make sure I never play this game ever again. I want to, the possibility isn't even in my scope anymore. I want it gone. I had a point, but I guess we're just going to... We'll just move on. Okay, so I'm sorry. I, I've ruined your joke. Okay. That wasn't a joke. It was just saying, oh, yeah, Xbox has currently doesn't have much that I'll be interested in. But, you know, hey, they've got a good series that they're flaunting with Scorpio that might make me interested. Still waiting I mean, for a good exclusive for yeah. this generation. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so Deck 13, the developers of The Surge, yep. has two active embargoes apparently, which there's made headlines, or at least a couple of headlines. Uh, one of which is the review embargo, which most people care about because they want to know if the game's good or not, if they're going to get a 4 like Prey did, or... Is that a 4 out of 10? Yeah. Ooh, that's rough. I, I, I haven't been keeping up. I was actually going to go pick that up later today. Maybe I won't. That was just one IGN review. That's okay. okay. Um, and then it has a separate embargo for Let's Plays. Yep. Um, so before we get into that, you might not have heard of Deck 13. No. What, what, have, what are they? They've done Jack Keen. Never heard of it. Crosscode? No. Nah. Shift Happens? Also no. Okay, what about Lords of the Fallen? Yes, that one yeah. I do, yeah. Yeah. That was a, a bit PS4 exclusive. Yeah, and that was a bit um it was a little bit Dark Soulsy. Mm. But The Surge, which is their new game, is a lot Dark Soulsy, apparently. Uh yeah, I the way it has been described to me is Soulsborne esque with their sex, so you've got the combat of Soulsborn games. While running around in a giant mecha suit. That sounds awesome. Yep. It needs aliens, and then it needs to just be the end of the movie, Aliens, where you're just in a mech suit fighting an alien queen. Also, I watched Alien Covenant last night, so... Okay. Yeah, that's fair. I, I think people would pay good money for that. Yeah, that would be... Yeah, I love that. Um, I got shown this game quite a few months ago by a friend of mine, and I haven't heard anything... Until this particular headline, because they've got this such Just a strange the embargo. Embargoes, yeah. Um, so the game actually releases in about three days, 
for Australia. Today is being the 13th, which is a set day, date earlier than what we normally record because 14th is Mother's Day. And I don't know why I didn't think to put that... I love you, Mum. <laughs> don't know why I didn't think to put that further up in the podcast and patch notes until here. But... Wasn't important. Not important. Anyway, back to the original point. Uh... Like I said, it made a couple of headlines because of its review embargoes go out on the 16th when it's released. But its play embar- uh, let's play embargoes were up on the 11th, which means anyone who was given early access yeah. to the copies has had almost a week to put out yeah, gameplay footage. So people have been footage. playing this, yeah. And I assume that they've also put uh, their own early, uh, early thoughts mm. on the game with that. Um, but that... That's being subject to what the embargo is actually entailed. We're not recognised enough to have that sort of thing, so we can't. So what happens if the person's playing it and they're just like, "Oh, this is this is great," and then it just the video gets taken down because they said whether or not the game is good. Maybe. I don't. Know. I didn't. See, I didn't see anything. I'm like I said. I forgot about this game since I saw it months ago. I I've actually it's... have been. Hi- on the hype train because I can keep hearing it on um like new RPG games of this year and yeah so I, I've I've had a uh, not exactly my finger on the pulse but you've been watching the monitor I've, yeah I've been watching from far away you've in the bushes the, you've been watching the pulse monitor on your desk while you're at work yeah exactly because you work in a hospital yes I do. Thank that's, you for clearing that up. That was a joke that I don't think the, they Yeah, have. no one else got it. And I was like, ha, that's funny. And everyone else was like, oh, I don't what? get it. Um, as always, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If we missed a piece of news that you thought we should have covered or you would have liked to hear our thoughts on, leave it in the comments below and we'll catch up on it next week. Um, remember, Facebook is where we post our updates first. Also, when we put up this episode, it'll yep. be tomorrow, I guess. Yep. Uh, so, like us there to see when it goes up each and every week. If you want to see what we get up into our personal lives, check us out on Twitter. I am at BMW3ing, and you are at should be Matt. And if you're not a social media person, well, we've still got that deal running. So just hit the subscribe button down below and hit the little bell next to it to get desktop notifications when we post. It's like one of those Coles sales where they say it's on sale, but it's permanently reduced in price. That's another joke that a lot of viewers won't get because I don't think I Coles, think actually, Coles in Australia isn't the same as Coles in America. I was going to say I don't think anyone who's... I think all of our viewers would get that because I think almost all of them are exclusively Australian. No, if you go on demographics, there's some Americans. Shout out to the Americans out there. Uh, so we love you. I mean, we're five subscribers away from... Being halfway to getting our custom URL. That'll be good because instead of saying like visit us at youtube.com slash xz3. I think it's so, UC uh, Bay. I, I, that's, the, that's the first one. Because you, you see Bay. Yes. We are Bay. And we're currently hitting our estimated one cent profit margin. Oh, that's good. I, I really thank, uh, thank you for that one cent. Yep. I'll, I'll use that well. I always put my five cents into this podcast, so... That's an awful joke. It is. It was fantastic. I love it. I think I'll actually need to... I'll put the bloopers in now. Yeah, I've got enough bloopers. I'll leave. Like that. Watch, you go... No. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then it's cut, and then you go, okay, cool. Yeah, almost like a prompter. That's the word for it. Teleprompter. We need a teleprompter. Why, why didn't you say, uh, why didn't you? See, this is why we have them. Oh, wow, that. <laughs> you know what we could, you could hold the laptop. No. Wow, <laughs> I thought you were part of this team. <laughs> this is so much footage that's being wasted. Fuck it, I'm going to just, I think we should just. Get rid of that.